slept so bad last night. <laughs> oh my gosh. I had like the weirdest dreams all night and I tossed and turned. It was not great. So I feel like my skin looks lifeless. <laughs> trying to figure out why I slept so poorly because I had a really great day yesterday and I actually think it's because I had decaf iced coffee like way too late in the day and I'm pretty sure there's still caffeine in decaf coffee and yeah that was not a good move on my part. I knew better than to do that but I went on a little evening coffee date and it was worth it because I really like this guy but today I suffer. I actually don't feel like the worst I've ever felt. I just feel like not getting good sleep was rather jarring. <laughs> Especially when you have like weird bad dreams all night. You're just like, what the f <laughs> So yeah. Also, hi, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new. I'm Shayla. I moved to New York City three and a half months ago and we're just loving life. We're thriving here. I love it here. It's been quite an adventure. I've already learned so much about myself and about life in my short time here and life just keeps getting better. Now, I'm sure at this point you're like, Shayla, tell us about the boy. And look, I really want to, but I feel like before I say anything else, we need to give a little time. There's literally nothing worse than telling people that you like someone and then it like doesn't work out and then people ask you about that person and you're like sad about it and you're just like, Ugh, just want to forget that they exist. Not that I think that this won't work out, but I also feel like I'm just trying to protect my heart, you know? <laughs> Moral of that story is more on that later. <laughs> We need to walk the dogs and then I signed up for yoga and I should probably go even though I'm so freaking tired. Yeah, 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 we should go. Also this ice roller, I've had it for like at least three or four years and it's the best thing ever. I'm already feeling so much better. Okay, let's get this show on the road. Let's have a good day. Finally placed a Tropico order and I'm so happy about it. I do have some green dream protein that I really like from my friend Sophie's company, Philosophy, but I love the lean protein from Tropica. I have been missing the vanilla lean protein from Tropica. And then I also decided to try their new flavor, which is natural banana candy flavor. I thought this could be really yummy with just like oat milk if I want something for dessert, but I'm trying to get in more protein. And then of course I re-upped on my body bloom because I do notice a difference when I take this stuff and I haven't taken it in a while, at least since I've moved. So very happy about this. Just put this away. I finally showered. I'm gonna just tidy up a little bit and then I'm gonna do a Q&A on my Instagram. I do one every single week. If you're not following me already on Instagram, it's at Shayla Quinn. Every Sunday I post a question box where you can ask me anything and then I usually answer on either Monday or Tuesday. So I'm gonna do that and then I need to continue podcasting which I feel like is gonna end up running into tomorrow just because there's so much that I need to do. I'll see what I can get done today. I ended up going on a nice long walk with the dogs after I had lunch and I got to catch up with my best friend, Laura, who lives in LA, AKA TT, if you've watched my vlogs from Bali. And that was so nice to catch up with her. I miss her so much. So yeah, that is the lay of the land. Nothing very exciting today. <laughs> Just a normal day in my life. I'm starting to feel like some of my vlogs are getting a little monotonous and boring. 
and I'm really sorry if that's the case. I like watching people's just like everyday life, but I don't know if that's the case for everyone. It's early in the week. We still have the rest of the week to have fun. Also, if you haven't listened to my podcast yet, The Yoga Inspired Life, you can listen on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, and I think pretty much wherever you get your podcasts, it is about living a yoga inspired life, but it's not just about yoga. It's about manifestation, mental health, self-care, self-love, wellness, fitness, mindset. I literally talk about anything and everything that falls under living an aligned, inspired life that feels like it's in flow. So if you enjoy my videos, you'll definitely enjoy the podcast. I will link that below. Let's, I think I already said get this show on the road today, but we're, we're doing it again. Let's get this show on the road. When I get in these modes, it's a sign to me that I'm too focused on everything and everyone else. Take this time for you. Explore some new hobbies and start a new project and work on yourself. Instagram Q&A is done. Answered a bunch of emails, which was really good. Did not record the podcast episode, which is not great because it's due tomorrow. <laughs> I just, there were so many helicopters out and then there was like some sort of construction happening in my building. And I was like, this is really going to mess with the sound quality. So I just didn't do it. <laughs> It's not too late to do it. I just feel a tad drained at the moment. I am on the first day of my cycle today too, and I'm just like really feeling it. So I think what I'm gonna do is have a little snack, maybe sit down for a moment, gather my thoughts. I'm gonna do some dried, oh my God, I can't get this open. Lost all my strength for a moment. I'm gonna do some dried apricots and some macadamia nuts. And I'm just gonna take a moment of silence gather up some energy only 5 30 so i could potentially still record i can hear another helicopter going i don't know i mean i hear them every now and then it's not like i never hear them but there's just like a lot going on right now outside <laughs> i'm just gonna take a moment and reassess whether i have the energy to do it now or if i should just go ahead and do it in the morning i hate to wait last minute to do these things but sometimes that happens <laughs> I need to kind of get ahead on my YouTube videos because I feel like I'm slightly backed up as well as my podcast episodes. I usually like to be a little bit ahead so I don't feel stress and pressure when my upload days are coming up. But yeah, I think with the launch of my program, I got a little bit behind. So yeah, I'm thinking we need to like get on top of that. Anyway, snack time. Three hours later. Wow, today was one of those days that was like productive, but not in the way that I had planned. <laughs> oh, and it's eight o'clock and I'm finally just now going to think about what to have for dinner. Wow, this is very, a very uneventful day. I'm so sorry. I don't, don't even know what to say. It's just papaya was ready, but honestly with papayas, you have to wait until they almost look like they are rotten on the outside and then they're like ripe and ready to eat. I feel like this needs a few more days. Yeah, I guess I'll have some salad. Boring. <laughs> I didn't go to the grocery store today either, and I really needed to do that. I wanted to make green juices today. I don't know what happened today. I did get a bunch of admin work done, and I read through a couple of contracts for brand collaborations, which needed to be done, so that's good. It just was very time consuming. Oh my God, I'm gonna take the dogs out for a walk. Oh, you know what? I forgot that I slept bad last night. That's probably why I'm so tired. <laughs> See you tomorrow. <laughs> Morning. I'm feeling like today is gonna to be a productive day. I got good sleep last night. Thank you, God. I am motivated to like get all the things done today. The priority today is podcasting because it is Tuesday and I need to get an episode up. But first, let's go on a walk. Let's go get a coffee. Let's get the day going. Oh my gosh, what a treat. Episode up, but I need to take a break. <laughs> it's 
12 and yeah, my body feels like stiff and I feel like I need to just like take a walk. Also need to go to the grocery store so that I can eat lunch. <laughs> so let's go to Whole Foods. Quick little grocery haul. I got some stuff to make green juices, which we will do in a little bit. Cucumber, celery, parsley, ginger, apple, and lemon. Also got some more tofu, mushrooms, zucchini, bell pepper, avocado, cherry tomatoes, apples, broccoli, coffee, and my favorite, barista blend oat milk. <laughs> some soup to have on hand. I have been craving cereal and I've had this before. It's been a couple of years, I feel like, but it's the Catalina Crunch Keto. It's also vegan, high fiber, high protein cinnamon toast cereal. I think there's like, yeah, zero sugar in it too, which is great. I also got some more LaCroix, my favorite. Some spaghetti squash, because I want to do spaghetti squash and truffle pasta sauce that I have on hand. And I also got a bunch of figs, because it's fig season, baby. I put all this away, make some lunch. I'm not gonna lie, probably gonna have my veggie tofu fried rice, just because I am short on time today and I need to jump back into podcasting. As you can see, I can no longer sit. <laughs> that was a long day. Oh my gosh. Oh! I had a goal of four podcast episodes today, but we only got to two. And I'm not even finished editing the second one. I'm almost done though. And I do really want to go down to the gym and just move my body a little bit before I have dinner later. And I'm trying to like time this all in my head of how I can coordinate this so that I'm not eating super late. You know what I think I'm gonna do? Because I love to be an efficient queen. <laughs> I'm gonna pop these in the oven now, these spaghetti squash and roast them while I'm finishing editing this episode. I didn't think we were gonna make it, but we made it. <laughs> it is 7.30 and I'm just gonna work out for like 25, 30 minutes, see what I can get done, and then go upstairs and shower and eat because I don't wanna eat too late, but I gotta move my body. Good morning. Okay, so this really probably isn't necessary because you'll be seeing, it'll all make sense. <laughs> but I woke up this morning and realized that today is indeed Wednesday and I upload videos on Thursdays and Sundays. And I wanted this vlog to be a week in my life, but I've only filmed Monday and Tuesday. And so I don't wanna put what I already have up 
tomorrow for you. So I decided that I'm going to start a new vlog today because I have an adventure planned and then I'll pick up this vlog tomorrow. If you're like, Shayla, I'm confused. Don't worry, because you're gonna see the vlog that I'm gonna shoot today first and then you'll be seeing this week in my life vlog on Sunday. So anyway, wanted to pop on, give you a little rundown, tell you why I'm not filming today. And yeah, I'll see you tomorrow. vlog that I shot yesterday, which is already up on my channel, so you can go and watch that if you haven't already. A fun day, but it didn't go to plan, <laughs> but it was still fun, and you know, that's just life. Things don't always go the way we plan. <laughs> also decided that today is a good day to finally put my cozy earth sheets on my bed. I'm very excited. By the way, I have a discount code for you. I'm going to pop it here on the screen and also pop the link below. These sheets are so incredibly soft. I literally am so excited to go to bed tonight. Surely for the new sheets. I'm not going to lie. Breakfast is a little bowl of fresh papaya and some figs and more coffee and green juice. I do have some work that I need to get done this morning and I need to answer emails. Once my duvet is done washing and drying, I need to put my bed back together. Just kind of like trying to tie up loose ends today and get a little bit ahead and get a little organized so that I can have a nice weekend and not feel so behind with all of my things. <laughs> this is life though, isn't it? Always trying to play catch up and feel like you're on top of everything. We do what we can around here. have the washer and the dryer going right now so sorry for the noise <laughs> but if you've been watching my videos for a while then you probably already know I'm a big proponent of journaling and meditation and just like taking time to check in with your energy and I was just sitting at the computer working and started to feel not anxious but just kind of like full and heavy a little bit not heavy in a sad way but just kind of like ugh, like a at capacity in a way energetically and whenever that happens or whenever i feel like i have a lot going on in my mind or i just feel a little bit overwhelmed or full instead of ignoring that and continuing to do whatever i'm doing i have lately been trying to let that be a sign that i need to take a pause and like release let go and make an intentional effort to shift my energy and so that's what i'm gonna do right now and i thought that i would just remind you that whenever you're feeling that way you always have a choice to hit the reset button. Whether you're at work, you can go into the bathroom, close yourself in a stall, like sit on the toilet, take a moment and like reset. Or if you're at home or with, if you're with a partner, you can go in another room. Like even if you're out with friends, you can take a bathroom break and go in and do that. And like, it really does make such a big difference. And it is just an intentional conscious shift of deciding like, what am I mulling over or thinking about that's not serving me? What can I let go of? And how do I wanna feel right now? And how can I make a shift to feel that way? I love pulling an Oracle card. I'll link the deck below that I use. I love to journal and sometimes I'll journal on whatever card I pull, but also sometimes I just brain dump and get everything that's in my mind out on paper. And it just frees up space in my mind and creates space and just makes me feel lighter energetically. And so that's what I'm gonna do before I have lunch. And then I'll of course get back to work. I need to take like a energy shifting break for a moment. Just 
clean the entire house. I could not vlog it because my camera died. See, you're actually still, you're actually still plugged in, but that's okay. I'm going to switch to my phone. We're gonna head into the city and go to a workout, which I am seriously excited about because I have some anxious energy today that I need to like work out of my body immediately. So let's go. Coconut water for the road because it is another hot one. Workout is complete. It's so weird, it was so sunny when I went into my workout and I came out and it's literally like dark outside. It's not gonna rain, but it's, it's, it's looking stormy. Just went into Pottery Barn to see if we could get anything for that shelf because it's still very, very bare. But I didn't see anything, so fine. We'll go home and the shelf will remain bare. <laughs> Corners kind of goes with like the rounded corners of my headboard. Very into it. Okay, I really like it. I also ordered the matching large floor mirror for this wall. It matches this one, it has the rounded edges. And then I think I'm gonna hang the two pieces over my bed. I still haven't put my bed back together, just got home. And then see, like, this is cute. I'm honestly obsessed with it. I am so glad I hung those above my bed. It looks so good. It looks amazing. And I love the mirror on the dresser. I think it looks so, so good. I am so happy with how this came out. Three and a half months in New York City and my apartment is still slowly coming together. Still need to figure out the shelf decor and also like I said, waiting on that mirror, but it's starting to really feel like it might be complete, like in the next month or so, which is literally so exciting. I'm so, so, so happy with how it's turning out. It just feels so good in here. Good morning, happy Friday. It's a gorgeous day out today. Let's go for a walk. love getting the strawberry protein smoothie, but I get it with oat milk and vegan protein. Hello, Luli. Just literally pulled the same card that I did yesterday. <laughs> that is wild. Finished all my work early. It's like one o'clock-ish and we only have a few more weeks of summer left. And I feel like the last couple of weeks I have not taken advantage of the fact that we have a pool upstairs. So I'm going upstairs to read my book, relax by the pool, enjoy the sunshine. And then I have a date with the boy that I mentioned earlier in this vlog. <laughs> More on that later. I'm just gonna keep saying that until I'm ready for like a soft launch. <laughs> Who knows if it'll be in this vlog or not, I don't know. We're just gonna have fun and we're just going with it. Anyway, let's go to the pool. Hot Pot King 
I just got a hole in one though. True. Cut, cut clean. <laughs> <laughs>